This week on Rugged Expeditions. It's an odd situation when you've got in your mind that you're going to Texas to go hunting. Then you get there and you're in the mountains. Of course, that's where sheep live, so that makes sense that that's where you'd go. But I'm not thinking mountains when I'm thinking Texas. You're not running. I mean, you're not that afraid of this distance. There he is, right down below. We'd spent several days looking for a big ram. For some reason, it just wasn't our turn. But all you can do is keep hunting, keep climbing, glassing, looking over the rams that you see, and hold out until you finally get a decent one. Presented by Lynx Wild Safaris. Exceeding clients' expectations, one adventure at a time. You know that big country that lies right between Mexico and the good old U.S. of A? That home of cowboys, football, oil and rodeos? Yep, little doggies, we're going hunting in the great nation of Texas. This week, here we are in beautiful Texas, El Paso Airport. Flew all night from Seattle town. Man, what a nightmare. Bad transfers through Dallas and all that, but we made it. We're ready to go, got a rental car. Got about a two and a half to three hour drive out to somewhere by Alpine, Texas. Got a big ranch there, we're going awdad hunting. You know, Texas with all its wide open spaces, these rolling mountains here in West Texas, it's really a great place. I love this whole terrain. The whole Western theme out here is fantastic. And one of the great things about the whole Western idea is the music that goes with it. Because you know, in music, there's only two kinds of music. You got country and you got Western. And I'll bet right out here, they've got some great music right here on the radio. Let's see what they got. I'm sure there'll come a day When I look around and say I wonder how the time it all flew by I'll sit beside a fire And look back on, on all my desires And long for days when my legs would never tire but not today No, not today I'm full of life And glad to face the pain With my sights set way up high Reaching up to touch the sky One more step Will get me to the top wonder how I handle being gone how I face those lonely nights alone wondering when I'm coming back climbing down off that hill baby I promised you that I but not today No, not today That wonder lust is running through my veins If you were here with me Then I'm sure 
of that you would see the reasons that I'm singing you this song but not today no not today I'll be coming home, baby. Not today. Not today. Hold on. Not today. Mm -hmm. Not today. Won't be long. Woo! They got some good country music out here, I'm telling you. I know it sounds kind of strange to come to Texas to hunt wild sheep, but this is where the Audad were originally released after they'd been brought over from North Africa. The Audad is one of those unique animals that it's got long, sweeping, curving back horns, unlike our normal sheep in North America that have the horns that come around like this. They've also got this fantastic bib, and they call them chaps, the hair that grows down the front of their legs, giving them this really macho look. The Audad, much like your other big sheep around the world, are tough animals. They live in a tough terrain. They can absorb a lot of shot. The outfitter told us before we came, he said, make sure you bring enough gun and one that you're familiar with because these things can absorb some lead. I've had the chance to hunt the Audad in the South Africa area up by Kimberley where they're free range up in those mountains. But now getting the chance to come and hunt them in their original habitat where they were first released in the Davis Mountains is really a cool deal because this is where the true stronghold of these mountain monarchs is. Hey, Alan. Rocky, what do you say, man? How you doing? You ready for a little rugged expedition? Well, I'll get ready. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? Well, we'll go up here and Spend a lot of time glassing and driving. We got a little hiking ahead of us by the looks of those mountains, too. Oh, yeah, that's always part of the deal the Texas two step. One step watch. in front of the other. <laughs> well, I'm ready. Let's go. Texas guide Rocky McBride is not only well known for his sheep and elk adventures, but as a world renowned houndsman, Rocky utilizes their talents to locate a variety of big cats for scientific studies, including the endangered Florida panther. You know, I know not very many Canadians besides me and Jim Shockey wear a black cowboy hat, but you know, when you're in this hot sun, you need some shade, so what's more appropriate than a cowboy hat? And we are in the land of cowboys anyhow, so, you know. Texas to me doesn't bring to mind mountains. I think of the flatlands, the prairies, that kind of an environment. So getting into the Davis Mountains and seeing something completely unique for Texas was pretty cool. Allen is hunting near the historic town of Fort Davis. The town of Fort Davis is rich in Texican history. Named for the U.S. Cavalry Fort that was established here in 1854, the original Fort Davis buildings and barracks are now a registered National Historic Site. A well-preserved example of a former military post, Fort Davis was manned by the Buffalo Soldiers, serving in the 9th and 10th U.S. Cavalry Regiments. The fortification played a huge role as a safe haven for settlers traveling into the Southwest. We'd spent several days looking for a big ram. For some reason, it just wasn't our turn. But all you can do is keep hunting, keep climbing, glassing, looking over the rams that you see, and hold out until you finally get a decent one. See sheep, see the sheep. They've gone into this thick stuff right here. They're close, but... There's a big ball of them. We gotta get that bull to sort out from the others. 
That's a good sheep. This might be worth this really dark one that's up there that we didn't see. Inside. He's walking off. He's walking. I see him. There he goes to the saddle right there. Yeah, that saddle is 254. Come on, stop, 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 stop. <clears throat> Just trying to shoot one in these big herds like this is tough. They all got mixed up, but. I don't know where he snuck out, but he, I just, I knew that, I didn't feel like one of those sheep was him. It just wasn't the right. Yeah. But when I saw him, I knew it was him. Well, let's walk back down and. Do it all over again. You know, yesterday I tried to wear my black cowboy hat, thinking it might be the lucky hat. Because you know a guy can always use a lucky hat, but it didn't work out, so I think I'm gonna have to Try the one I brought in my pack, which really is my lucky, lucky hat. We need something to break the ice, eh, Rocky? Put it on. You think we should put it on? <laughs> put it on now. <laughs> I got my lucky socks on already. <laughs> you didn't do anything bad, like, you know, think evil thoughts or anything, did you? To give us some bad mojo? No. Mm -hmm. Because when you lead a good, clean life like I do, <laughs> good things happen. Good things happen all the time to you, so. After several days of hiking the Davis Mountains, Alan Smith and Texas guide Rocky McBride hope for better luck with a change of scenery. All right, enough of this screwing around. It's time to break out my lucky hat. Get ready, Rocky. Put it on. Put it on now. A, our luck's about to change. I'm feeling the luck. All right. He just went over. No, oh. he's there. He just needs a broadside. We've just seen a tremendous ram cut up over the hill. Well, I almost had a crack at him as he topped out, but that angling away like that when he's still moving is a really tough shot, especially at 300 yards. There's no way you're going to take a chance on a great ram like that by hitting with some risky wounding shot. So we're going to keep working these canyons and walking and come back up on top. That many ewes, there's got to be a ram in there someplace. See that you dusting there at yeah. the bottom? Yeah. I bet there's a ram down below them. They're all just kind of hanging around like they're waiting for something. Yeah. They're not running. I mean, they're not that afraid at this distance. Oh, there, there he is. Where are you at? Right down below. There's a ram. He's just standing down there. It's right behind that dead cedar. That looks like a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a good ram. If you can get down behind that dead cedar, you can get a good shot at him. He's going to come up the creek. Just got him going away right now. We need him to. Okay, he'll st I bet he stopped right Give me some broadside. Come on, baby. There he is. 260. There he is. There goes those ewes, Rocky. Yeah, he hadn't come out of the canyon yet. I think he's he's gonna lay dead down there. But let's just give it a little bit longer. See if he doesn't come out. 
I think he made a good shot. It felt good. I mean, you know. Yeah. No, he. Well, you he never know up. at that distance, but. Yeah, he humped up pretty good. Well, when he, he just, got hit. Yeah. He was the front leg was flopping just a little. I think he. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he's if he's in that canyon and he didn't come no, out of there, that's, that's he's got to be. Canyon. He'd, he'd come out of there. Let's go around the top. That way, if he does jump up or something, we got a shot at him. I hate to come up underneath him. Yeah, I think you're right. If we go down like this and he gets up, we'll never we see him. We won't know it. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on the canyon. Go ahead, if you got the bullet. <laughs> these long range shots like this in these canyons, they feel good, you got a good rest and everything else, but you never know. It's all it takes is a little bit, or wind pushes a little, maybe the animal moves right as you shoot, but Rocky says lots of times these things, you know, you think you've stone cold them and you get up there and off they go. So we've got to be ready when we get up here on top of them. <laughs> there he is. Huh? See, see that little what look, looks like a clump? That's his butt. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good job. Good spot. I'm talking about. Congratulations, that's a good ram. Thank you, thank you so much. What a great ram, huh? Wow, look at these things, what a brute. Look at the horns on him, huh? The mass. Look at this, there's hardly any hair at all between his horns. Shows how old he is. It's all smoothed off. You can see where he's been fighting. This is his long side here. It's all chipped up. Old bruiser. And an old ram, that's the main thing. You know, whenever we're out here hunting these animals, we're always looking for these old billies. Thank goodness they got out here and we're able to hunt them free range like this and enjoy the wilds of West Texas. Yeehaw! What a great country Texas is. I've actually thought about maybe immigrating there one day and buying me a little piece of land maybe get a little house on the prairie, get myself some cows, a horse, of course a cowboy hat, maybe a dog around the yard, maybe hang out and pick a few country western tunes.